I want to talk today about revising essays. I'm hoping that you got your narrative essay back from your first draft and your teacher has made some edits or some comments on your paper. This is a student that turned in an assignment to me. It was the same assignment you had to do, the scientific method narrative. And I have left some comments so the student can go back and revise. So remember, revision is a little different than editing. Editing is looking for like proofreading, um, errors where you don't capitalize I's or maybe you didn't put a comma here or word spelled wrong. The difference between revision is that I am adding significantly more detail and uh, a little more deeper understanding into my essay to produce a better piece. So here is um, a student sample and it says one day very early in the morning I woke to a cry. Now I made a comment here thinking, hey, you could add more detail. What type of cry is this? Like appeal to my senses. Is this a sharp cry or is it a lull? Um, those of us that have kids kind of know the difference in crying. Those of us that don't have kids probably have nieces or nephews or cousins or we've heard babies crying and there's different cries, right? So think about what word choice you can use to really send a mental picture to the reader. He also talks about my son was standing in his playpen and I'm thinking here's a great opportunity to expand on what your son looks like. Is he, um, how old is he? Is he chubby cheeked? Is he red faced? Is he usually a sweet natured boy? I mean is he a, an ornery four year old or is he a sweet natured angelic angel given by God, right? So there's a lot of different uh, description that we can add to this that already kind of develops characters in this narrative. So you stand next to my bed with his arms stretched out toward me sobbing and saying daddy and I love that, right? You can picture that his arms are stretched out and he's sobbing. Um, I responded by getting up and grabbing him and telling him it's okay Weston. So here I've got some editing comments like we knew, we've learned from our comma rules, right? Comma before quotation marks and a capital I for it's okay Weston as he continued to cry. Um, I laid him on my bed with hopes that if I changed his wet diaper, so here's going through the scientific method. Um, but think about the comments that you have and how you can add deeper description, how you can add more to what you already have. I made a comment on this student's paper that it needs to be in MLA format, so it needs to be double spaced, also needs to have a title and a heading um, with his name and all that kind of information. But the bigger piece I'm trying to get him to do is to lengthen this article. Let's take a look at another student sample. Okay, so here are some editing comments. What advice can we give to this student as well? My son, same thing, right? What, what does your son look like? Let's try a different student sample. That was student three, let's try student four. Okay, I wanted to draw and paint like my mother did when she was alive. Notice we've got two periods here, so I've made a comment on there. The drawings and paintings I have seen. I want to talk about word choice. Word choice is really important as you become a, a more accomplished writer. So what can you use instead of the word seen? I have seen and did not have the emotions in him. So um, gazed upon, encountered. There's an awesome thing called the thesaurus. You can put that your word into the thesaurus.com and a bunch of different words will come up. Think about the emotion you are trying to get your reader to feel and think about what word will help with that. So I want you to go back to your essay and think about what more you could add to make it deeper and richer and apply to more senses.